Okay, everybody. Um, my wife actually experienced the uh, a pop up today for real. We have a computer that I did a re uh, restore on, and I neglected to install my security software on it, and so a pop up actually came up, one of the fake uh, virus ones. So I'm going to give them a call and uh, see if I can jerk them around. Hello? Thank you for calling online technical support. My name is Patrick. How may I assist you today? Uh, hey Patrick, I'm kind of in a panic here. I got a, a pop-up on my screen that says something about a, a Trojan, RDN Trojan worm, and it has your number on it. Okay. Well, it seems like you've got a security alert from your Windows there. What were you doing on your computer when you got this, sir? Um, I was just on the internet. Um, I, I was just uh -huh. looking at stuff on the internet. Okay. So, where, which website were you on exactly? I don't know. I might have gone to YouTube. Um, I don't think I went anywhere else. I'm not sure what else is on the computer. I just got it. No problem. No problem. Okay. So, so, if in case it says that there are Trojans into the computer, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to make this computer secure and make sure that the infections does not spread further onto the computer. For which I would like to know if it's a laptop or a desktop that you're using there. It's a it's a laptop. It's a laptop, okay. Yeah. And uh, if you will take a look at the extreme bottom of the keyboard, towards the left there is a key that says C T R L. Do you see that? I actually I, I don't know much about computers. I don't know much about this computer actually. I to be honest, I stole it, so um that's why I don't know much about it. I you, don't know if this was something I'm sorry, what? You said you, you did what? Well, I stole it. So, I, I don't know. You stole I, the computer? Yeah, I stole the computer. I mean, I was hanging around the college and some geek was hanging around with his friends and he walked away for a minute to go look at some statue or something and I, I took it, but I figure it's probably worth quite a bit. But then this thing popped up and I started to think, oh no, the whole thing is screwed. Well, it seems like that stealing didn't work for you. It never works for no one. Well, yeah, I guess. I mean, did, did, can, can you help me fix this? Well, sir, if in case there is any infection going on onto the computer, I can certainly go ahead and help you fix it. But there is going to be a charge. So how much is the charge? It will be hundred and forty nine ninety nine. Oh, all right. Well, this thing's got to be worth a lot more than one hundred forty nine bucks. I mean, even if I pay you to fix it, I I still could either keep it or make some money off it. You sure can. All right. So how do you fix it? Okay, so I would be taking the access of your computer. Uh huh. And uh, then I will go ahead and uh, fix it for you. Okay, what? So, like, you have to log on to it? That's correct. Or do I log on to a website or something and then. I don't know what happens. Right. Okay, okay, so what do I do? Sure. Before I go ahead and uh, start with the procedure of fixing the computer, I would uh, like to go ahead and register you and uh, for the one-time fix. Hence, I okay. would like to ask which card would you be using. Will it be a Visa, Master, American Express, or Discover? Um, I don't know which one would I use. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know. I have several of them. Um, Are those I got. I, I'll I'll use a well, not all of them, but I'll use a Visa. I, I have a Visa. I think okay. it has. I think it has money on it. Yeah, I'll use a Visa. Okay. What would be the card numbers for your Visa card, sir? Uh, it's uh, four five three nine. Four nine nine seven nine one eight five three four five six. I'm sorry, I think I missed something. You said it's four five three nine four nine nine seven and then what? Nine one eight five three four five six. Okay. And what would be the expiration on the card? Uh, it's six twenty one. Six twenty one. Okay. And what would be the three digits at the back of the card? Uh no, oh, let me here flip it over. The three digit oh here on the right hand side nine two five. Nine two five, okay. Yeah. And how would the name appear on the card? Uh, appears as Cleveland, first name Cleveland. Oh, what's that loud noise? I'm sorry. sorry, there was there was a loud noise over the phone. I didn't know what it was. Um the first name is Cleveland. Uh-huh. And the last name is Steamer. S T E A M E R. Is there any middle initial on the card? No, I don't have a middle initial. Okay. Allow me one moment. Okay. Bear with me. And which bank card is it? You said. It's a it's a Visa. Okay. Oh, I gave you my name. I'm sorry. You asked for the name on the card? That's correct. Okay, the name on the card is Irene Saver. S-A-V-E-R. Well, this card number doesn't seem to be valid. Do you want to check which numbers you gave me? Um... Yeah, it's 4539. Four nine nine seven nine one eight five three four five six. Sorry, you said four five three nine four nine nine seven nine one eight five three four five six. Yeah, and the card holder is Irene yeah, R. Saver. The middle name is R. Maybe it's that I didn't give you. Her name is Irene R. Saver. No, the card number is not valid. That's what I'm saying. Ah, shit. I wonder if they canceled it. Oh, no. It's valid. It's valid. So is it's it valid, valid or invalid? You said it wasn't valid. It's valid. Okay. So we're good to go. I guess. You still there? Yes, I'm still here. Allow me one moment, okay? Okay. Okay. What would be the billing address? Um... The billing address is um, 1044 Charter Street. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in a city called Hollyville. That's H-A-W-L-E-Y-V-I-L-L-E -L -L -E in Connecticut. Sorry. 
what would be the city once again? Uh, the city is called Hollyville. It's H A H A W L E Y V I L L E. Hollyville. Okay. Connecticut, you said. Yeah, it's in Connecticut. And what would I had, be the post? I had to move here from the West Coast. Get away from there. Oh, the zip code is 06440. Okay. Now, this thing said Microsoft. You guys are Microsoft? What did you say? I'm sorry? I, I said the, the pop-up said Microsoft. This, this is actually Microsoft I'm talking to? Well, you are right now speaking to an online Microsoft certified technician. Okay. My name is Pat. I didn't know. Yeah, it and said Microsoft are... Technical Support. So, what you does guys the in... alert say? What else does it say there? Read the it alert. The very... It says RDN yeah. slash Trojan dot worm, and then it's got a bunch of numbers and letters, and it says infection. Call Microsoft Technical Support immediately at this number, toll free. It says the following data will be compromised if you continue. One, passwords. Two, browser history. Three, credit card information. This virus is well known for complete identity and credit card theft. Further action through this computer or any computer on the network will reveal private information and involve serious risks. Call Microsoft Technical Support immediately at, and then this number. It says toll free. Bear with me. I missed at the top of the message. It actually says this site says dot dot dot, but I didn't think that was important, so I just read the rest of it. Do you need to know what those numbers and letters are in that thing? No, that would be fine, sir. I would be taking the remote okay. access right now. Okay. So no more about it. What would be the name on the card you said? Um, the name of the card is Irene. I-R-E-N-E. -E, middle initial of R. Last name Saver. S-A-V-E-R. And who is she? I'm sorry. Uh, well, let's just say she's a friend. She's a friend. Okay. So you can log on to my machine remote remotely and fix it. That's correct, sir. That's pretty cool. Help me with your email address, sir, so that we can go ahead and send you all the detailed report. Um, it's c steamer at gmail dot com. Steamer would be S T E A M E R. Yeah. At yahoo dot com, you said. No, no, gmail dot com. Gmail. Steamer at gmail.com, correct? Yeah. Okay. One moment. I think that's what I did, unless I put my whole name. I think it's C Steamer. I had to recently change it. Oh. What happened to your previous one? Well, too many people got to know it. I didn't want anybody using it to track me down, so I changed it. Oh. How?
How did they get to know? Pardon? How did they get to know? Well, I, I mean, I just gave it out like you normally give out a, a an email address, but too many people started to know the email address. You know, I was getting email and stuff that uh, from people trying to find me, and I was just tired of dealing with it, so I just gave up on the email address and, and created a new one. So when you use this card, could I ask you which bank card is it? Which, which what? It's a Visa. Yeah, it's a Visa from which bank? From Bank of America, Wells Fargo, or where? I don't think it says on, oh, here in the corner it says it's got a little something like chemical bank. Up in the cor up chemical in the left corner, chemical bank up in the left corner. Sorry, chemical. You said chemical bank. Yeah, chemical bank. You mean the one which says chemical reactions and all that? That chemical bank, yeah. Just, just chemical. Just has the, like the word chemical, like chem like chemistry, but chemical. Yeah, yeah, chemical bank. Yeah. It says chemical bank or just chemical. No, it says chemical bank. Like C H E M I C A L bank. B -N -K. I don't know if that Yeah, I don't know if that's a uh Connecticut thing or I don't know if that's a local bank. I think I've I, I think I've heard of it before. Oh. Okay. okay. So, what I assume is that we can't get your computer fixed, then if the payment is not going through. So, will there be anything else you would like me to assist you with? If there's what's going wrong, you didn't. Did you say something's wrong? Oh, we can't. Yeah, we cannot process this payment because the card is not working. Okay, why didn't you just tell me that and saying you can't you can't make a payment and is there anything else you can help me with? You didn't even say there was a problem with the card. Well, I believe if you would be using stolen card, then the payment making the payment is impossible. So, let me ask you this, Patrick. Yeah, that's what I thought. The guy knows I'm on to it. 